Hey, just Jay here for Alpha Graphics Bountiful. My voice is probably a little extra bassy and extra rough today because I am sick. So you'll have to bear with me on that. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to loop footage in After Effects. Now, there's a couple different ways that I want to show you. And the first one is really simple. So let me show you what I'm working on right here. So I've got this background it's this green background that I want to continue to have looping and you see it just drops out and on the handle here I can't pull it any further you've got that little black triangle in the corner showing you it's the end of the clip there's just nothing more there so the first way of <clears throat> looping footage is I can come up here and interpret the footage so I'll right click on the green background in the project panel and go to interpret footage click on main and then you'll see in this panel you have how many times you want it to loop. You could calculate it out and have it loop the exact amount of times you want, but I know that nine times is going to be more than enough, so just an arbitrary number that's more than I know I need. Click OK, and you'll see automatically it added in all this footage. That little black arrow is gone, or the black triangle in the corner is gone, and I can drag this out, and now my footage will just continue to loop from frame one to the last frame, it will just start back at frame one and continue looping. So that's the first way of doing it. I'll go ahead and undo that. Second way of doing it is using something called time remapping and, and expressions. And now this way gives you a little bit more control. So what you'll do is you'll right click on your footage and go to time, enable time remapping. So you can see it adds in these keyframes at the beginning and at the end, and now I can pull the clip out even further but what happens is if I go past this point the very last frame of that clip is just extended so that's what all all of this extra is is just that very last part we don't want that we want it to actually loop so if you option or alt click on the stopwatch it'll bring up the place to write in your expressions and you'll write in loop capital O U U T for loop out and then parentheses and then click away from that and now when we extend this clip it will actually loop those two keyframes so basically it's like putting these keyframes over and over and over and over again on this timeline so it'll start from that first keyframe and end on that last keyframe and it's just another way of looping and why this way is a little bit more powerful I'll show you you can't really tell in this clip but if I go to this other clip here where it's not just a random background, where it's actually got a countdown. So I'll show you what the time remapping is actually doing. So if I right click and go to time, enable time remapping, and then I will alt click on the stopwatch and add in my loop out parentheses. As long as I do that, it will, again, it'll count down to 1, 0, and then start back at the 10. So I'm looping that entire clip. Well, what if I want to loop only a section of it? Like I want it to start over at 5. All I have to do is scrub, put my playhead where 5 is, add in a keyframe, and then if I delete this last keyframe, you'll see that it will go from 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, and then right after this, it'll loop back to 10. So this way, and again, if I keep going, it will go back to 5, and then loop to 10. So in this way, you can loop just a section of your clip instead of the whole thing. So those are two different ways to loop clips in After Effects. So hopefully that helped you. Please give us any feedback, positive or negative, and as always, like, comment, and subscribe.